You know, what's interesting. Um, the, when you were talking about that, when you were talking about um, kind of maybe taking a look at what you're literally going through at this moment, and then maybe taking a global perspective, potentially like looking at or having some perspective. Okay. I might be going through this, but I know some people that have gone through this and they've made it through. I know some people who have gone through this and they've made it through. You can then like, yeah, you, you, you reframe things to understand that. Okay. This might be hard, but it's a stressor that I know people have handled before, so I can definitely handle this. Now, I think, uh, an interesting aspect of that is I was having a conversation with a woman a few weeks ago and she was talking about an experience and I wasn't trying to take away from her experience, but I told a story about someone that was close to me that, that like in, an, in a different country, they went through some like on us on a very big scale. A lot of them were going through a lot of horrible things, right. That were kind of similar. Um, and then she was like, are you trying to diminish my experience? And I was like, no, 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 no. I'm not diminishing your experience. I'm just saying how this isn't just a here problem. This is a global thing. And in many places, this is actually much, much worse. I'm just saying that in certain ways we have it good over here. Okay. And an individual, not only do they need to reframe their specific experience, but they need to reframe the way they look at other experiences. You know what? You should diminish your freaking experience. You should diminish it. You should take a look at what you're going through at this moment in time and understand that actually, this is not that big of a fucking deal. Diminish your experience. That'll probably make it easier. And that should be okay. That's huge. You're d- diminishing the response to it is probably <clears throat> the there most important thing, you know, because the what you're in, like there's, there, we can all agree there's like really there's there's levels right like if i if i never if i never really knew you guys the way i know you and said uh hey you know we just each one of us shares the worst thing that happened to us right and we go around the room and i i say hey you know my brother died a couple years ago it impacted me greatly he a hero to me he died of like a drug overdose and we go around the room each guy says something um <clears throat> there's there's levels to it right like people dying of drug overdose, like, I'm sorry, but it happens all the time. Drugs are very addicting. They can be very dangerous. And Mark, you, you and your family story is no different than millions of other Americans. There are levels to stuff though, that you cannot, that there are levels of stuff that are very difficult to interpret in any other way than it just being fucking shitty. Yeah. Like if I was like, Hey, I got raped as a child, you know, it's like, Holy fuck, man. Like you're just like, you know, I don't even, I don't even know what to do with something like, you know, that's a, but there are still people who have been sexually abused as children that have fucking amazing lives. They have great yeah. lives. They have, I don't want to speculate on anything like, like that necessarily, but they have figured it out. They've figured out a way to, reinterpret life they figured out a way to look at things um we know some amazing people um you know that are that lost the use of their legs or were born that way and they're high level fucking brazilian jiu-jitsu black belts and tyler bray yeah we see yeah and, and they're competing in bodybuilding and like all kinds of stuff like that and you you look at people like that and you're like this is amazing and there's a guy who said this is what I got and I'm happy with this. I'm going to focus on what I do have and I'm not going to sit here and hone in. You know, it's an interesting thing though. I think that when we talk to friends and uh, <clears throat> hopefully uh. listening to this <laughs> and sometimes, well, I would say just significant others in general or um <laughs> <laughs> it's hard, hard to really like flat out just say a hundred percent. But like, I think, I think sometimes we just want to be heard. You know, I was going to say females, but I don't think that that's true. I think it's male and female. I think it's, I don't think it's gender specific. I think it's both sides. Sometimes you just want to fucking pour your shit out to somebody and you want them to say, you know what, Andrew, that fucking sucks. You've been slighted. You've been handed a bad, you know, bad deck of cards. I don't know why we think, I don't know why, because it would be way more productive if somebody said, 
hey, you know what? That's unfortunate, but that's what you were dealt with. We were all dealt with different problems and we've all had to overcome them. So <laughs> welcome to be an adult, motherfucker. Like you got to go out and make money, go pay taxes and uh, you got to eat shit like everybody else every single day. But for some reason, we really want that, um, that compassionate interaction. Oh my God, are you serious? You know, you went to the DMV and they fucking turned you back and now you got to go back. You got to make another appointment. Holy fuck, man. They really, and it cost you 200 bucks or whatever. Like it just people want to like really, really kind of sit in that for some particular reason. I want to sit well, in it, the suck. Yeah. But it, it's, uh, it's the, the most common when, you know, you're, you're, a friend of yours is coming and it's just like, dude, I can't believe my ex-boyfriend did this and blah, blah, blah. And you're, you know, if you just throw it back at their face, it's like, well, you kind of were flirting with that dude. So I get it. No, they want to hear, I can't believe he treated you that way. Right. They want, <laughs> they want you on their side. Uh, yeah. they want, you know, they want that compassion, like you said, but, uh, what Nsema said was, freaking amazing um i forgot how you worded it but like your friend didn't want you to diminish her uh experience experience um yeah dude i i think um as silly as it sounds but i don't think we know that we have the option to look at it this way the way you guys are explaining you know uh, i'm thinking of like me in junior high being upset that i gotta ride my bike you know in the cold of you know northern california right where it's like barely <laughs> cold and then hearing the guy that said, oh, like back in my day, I had to walk to school four miles uphill both ways in the snow. And in my head, I'm just like, well, that's that's fuck. That's your story. That's not mine. Like, you know, people are caught up in their own shit. But if we do realize we have the option to just think, you know, reframe our mind and think like, well, yeah, in the grand scheme of things, it isn't that bad. And, you know, maybe take on take on the challenge and don't worry about the stressor. <laughs> And what, if you, what if you just stop saying it? You know, what if you just like worked on, uh, or maybe not completely stopping saying it, but like, what if you just worked on saying things a lot less? Like when somebody's like, oh yeah, I heard so-and-so did a no carb diet and they lost 50 pounds rather than you saying that's impossible. I would never be able to do that. Why don't you just think, oh man, that's really interesting. I, bet that would be challenging for me since I actually like carbohydrates a lot, you know, and just kind of walking your way through it and say, I, I think I could probably figure out something like that. I would have to start out by eating less carbohydrates before I would just jump in, but maybe you can start to kind of <clears throat> rationalize it a little bit more rather than just losing your mind thinking like it's impossible for you to even try it or consider it. And along with that, guys, like I'm not OK. So for anyone who just heard this, what I said, as far as diminishing this individual's experience, um, you know, I eat, I even after we after I said what I said to her, to her I literally said because because I could I could see her gears turning as I was speaking. So she said, are you trying to diminish my experience? Like, I'm absolutely not trying to diminish your experience. I'm just talking about some of their experiences that I've personally seen and heard of from people very close to me. And just, it, it's very interesting. But, you know, I know that everybody does go through their individual things. Like Andrew said, we're all kind of, kind of caught in the scope of our own personal daily lives. But that's why I do think it's going to be, it is super beneficial for number one, not just for us to maybe think about all the things we're grateful for, but then we should be thinking about things potentially on a, on a scope outside of ourselves. You know, I think that can make things much easier for every single one of us individually. Um, and it, along with that, you know, some people may come to you with a problem, not wanting a solution. I get it. Sometimes, whether you're the, 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 the girlfriend of said guy who's coming to you with the problem or the boyfriend of said girl or husband to said woman who's talking to you about the problem, you know, sometimes you're not supposed to say shit. Okay. <laughs> I, I get it. <laughs> I totally understand. Um, but um, I do think that for everyone listening, it would be a great idea when you do have a problem and you're going to talk to somebody about it, be open to hearing about a potential solution or be open to hearing about some ways that that person may have for you to feel better. It's sometimes that, that, you know, I guess sometimes it's, it's, it's a good, it's a good thing to have. I ask people, I just ask people now they'll, they'll vent to me and I'll say, would you like to know what I think? <laughs> oh, and they, a lot of times they'll say no. Yeah. Say no, no. 
You know, they're like, I, I know I'm going to get the same fucking medicine that you always try to give me. My kids, especially my kids will, they'll even stop me before I say anything. They're like, Oh, no, nope. like, don't go on a speech. I know it's my own choice. I got choice on, you know, how, how I want to react to this. And, uh, they're like, we've heard it a million times. They just, they just stopped me right away. 